recognize one of your knights. Welcome back to Top of the Deck, guys. Ace of Bats here, and today I'm coming at you with a modified Dino Mist deck profile. Yeah, I know I did this pretty recently, and actually Creative Duelist, uh, one of our favorite affiliates, uh, hosted a version of this deck on his channel pretty recently, too. I'll go ahead and link it in the description box below if you want to take a look at it. made a few modifications, and I'm actually working on some new combos, so I just wanted to go ahead and uh, come straight out with it, see what you guys think, and uh, yeah, just go ahead and go from there. So starting with the monster lineup, we have the three ofs. 3 Dynamis Grimlock, aka Rex. This one has a little bit of a mini Ignister effect slash BLS sort of effect, so he can attack twice. He can actually shuffle a monster away by tributing a Dynamist. He's a scale 6, which while he's in the scale, he protects Dynamis cards from being targeted by destroying himself, so it's a good deal. Dynamis Plesios, he's also a 3 of. He actually kind of works as a burden of the mighty for the deck within of itself. Uh, Easy, easy normal summon, level 4, scale 6 as well too, so protects against targeting in the scale is one of the key players of the deck. 3 Dynamis Swoop, that's Terran right there. Uh, this one is actually the Stratos of the deck once it destroys an opponent's monster by battle. Scale effect of being able to protect Dynamis cards from destruction, keep that in mind, it includes cards, so that's spell cards and trap cards too. Two copies of Dynamis Brachion, it's got that scale 6 targeting protection, works as a mini little cyber dragon, so as long as your opponent has the monster with the highest attack points on the field, you can special summon this one straight from the hand. Two copies of Dynamist Aceratops, Dynamist Slag there. He's got the scale 3 destruction protection, as well as as long as you control only Dynamist monsters, then you can actually special summon him straight from the hand. Spinos, who actually is an OTK unto itself, as long as you tribute another Dynamist monster. Enclos and Estegos, Dynamist Scowl and Snarl, respectively. Uh, if you guys don't believe me on all these Transformer names, you, you just go ahead and look them on up, but it's Grimlock, Slag, Sludge, Snarl, Swoop, Paddles, Scowl, and Scorn. Anyway, uh, Stegosaurs and Ankylos both have these destroy and banish sort of effects when um, another Dynamis monster battles an opponent's monster. Now moving on to the Pendulum Engine. We're playing three of this actor Curtain Razor. In case you haven't heard of this from the Pendulum Magicians, what you do, while it's in the scale, you can special summon it out of the scale um, in either position as long as you don't control any monsters. You can only do it once per duel, but it's a level four monster and it just makes a good body. Two copies of Astrograph Sorcerer here. This one's literally just a search off of a monster in the extra deck. You can't really Pendulum summon it back. But once you do have it, if you lose an, a monster in your pendulum zone or on your field, you can special summon this and then add a copy of a pendulum monster that was destroyed this turn. Doesn't specifically have to be that pendulum monster that just got destroyed, so keep that in mind for combos in the combo tutorial video. Here's the big three of that we run is three copies of Dynamis Charge. It's a lot like Fire Formation Tanky, if you remember Fire Formation Tanky from Luna Lights or Fire Fist within of itself. Uh, you actually play it, you search any Dynamis monster, and then the cool part about it is if a Dynamis monster is destroyed in, in the scale, or if you lose it on the field for whatever reason, you just bounce that straight back to your hand. It's a mandatory effect and it doesn't stack, so you can only use it once per turn even if you have multiples on the field. Two copies of Wavering Eyes. I think this will be Pendulum Halt when that finally comes out because I like the idea of a Pot of Greed more than a Wavering Eyes right now. But it'll also search for your Astrograph Sorcerer and help you recur some advantage, especially if you combine that with Dynamis Charge. We've got Limiter Removal, Instant Fusion, and Dark Hole because Board Wipes. This is to get out Cyber Dragon Infinity faster, and these are all machines, so go ahead and go for that OTK. And then for another weird little one, one copy of Dynamic Power Load and one copy of Terraforming to search for Dynamic Power Load. Uh, the problem I have with Dynamic Power Load is it's a, you know, it's not a combo extender, it's just kind of like a little protection condition there. So I don't like to see it in opening hands, but I do like having the search ability, so that's why I added the one terraforming in there. I'm arguing with myself over whether to cut that or not, but for now we're just going to go ahead and do it as a one of. Three copies of 
Dynamis Howling. This is a one card scale. When you flip it up, it also allows you to tribute a Dynamis monster on either player's turn to bounce back a monster on your opponent's side of the field. So it works as a Kirin and a monkey board all in one shot. The only hindrance is for about a turn, you're not allowed to pendulum summon monsters that aren't Dynamis, and odds on, you're only going to be pendulum summoning Dynamis in this deck. Not a big deal. Three copies of Dynamis Rush because you get to special summon any Dynamis monster out of the deck for free and they're unaffected by other card effects that turn which is great for if you get regeki or Darkhold or whatever. One copy of the Solemn Brigade because this is one of those kind of semi-combo decks but it's better with the back row so that actually helps in Solemn Stops. Two copies of Quaking Mirror Force because this actually kind of helps with the Spinos win condition a little bit. But that's it for the main board. For Fusion Monsters we run one copy of Panzer Dragon. This is literally just to extend into Cyber Dragon Infinity a lot faster. One copy of Totally Awesome because you can summon it off of the one copy of Bahamut Shark. Keep in mind all these monsters are not only machines but they're waters too so you can use these. One copy of Abyss Dweller, so if you overlay any level 4 with the Dynamis monster, this is going to go ahead and get the 2200 point bonus, so that's great for killing those graveyard power decks. One copy of Castell, because sometimes I don't want to pop back row, I just want to get rid of it entirely, and sometimes I don't want to pop a monster, I just want to get rid of it entirely. Because we're playing Machines, one Gear Gigan X, it'll search for all of the level 4 monsters in the deck aside from Abyss Actor Curtain Razor. One number 37, Hope Woven Spider Shark. This is actually still in me some games with the attack modification. One Cyber Dragon Nova to go into your Cyber Dragon Infinity because we're running level 5 machines and we can easily get them on the field very quickly. One Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. The inclusion of Heavy Metal Foes Electromite has actually made it considerably easier to get two Astrograph Sorcerers on the field. This is a good thing to go ahead and put on the board if you just run out of space. One copy of Proxy Dragon. So this bad boy protects monsters from destruction. This is probably my least favorite monster in the whole deck, to be perfectly honest with you. Just because it doesn't really synergize with the rest of the theme, it just happens to be generic. Two copies of Heavy Metal Foes Electromite. Uh, great part about this one, it searches for cards, it draws you cards, it adds extra incentive to recycle the monsters from the extra deck back to the hand to get you bigger pendulum summons. It's amazing. One copy of Miss Star Boy. Yes, one copy of Miss Star Boy with Electromite. You don't really need it as often, which is a nice little thing, but it's great for enabling some big damage moves or some OTKs, really recycling your water monsters, so it's a good call there. And of course, to top it all off, one copy of Deco Talker, just the obligatory generic Link 3 monster that's easy to get into and does enough to protect itself as well as other cards on the field. In addition to the scales, it really fits in with the theme of this deck, which is very strong, robust monsters that just like to fight and fight very well. Uh, but that's it for the deck, actually. Uh, comment down below, let me know what you think of the modifications. I know they're kind of small from the last video, but I like this build a lot better. It gives me more options. It feels more explosive, like a Performer Pile deck, or more like a Pendulum Magician deck. Anyway, so on that bombshell, Ace of Bats signing out. We'll have our combo tutorial uh, next time.